I know these guys need no introduction anywhere in the free world, but for those of you who have been living under a rock, we're going to introduce them to you anyway, beginning with left fielder Camden Walter. Pitcher, second baseman, shortstop, Braden Coleman'sberger. Third baseman, second baseman, Bailey Wirt. Pitcher, center fielder, Adam Kramer. Left fielder, right fielder, Zach Soy. Pitcher, catcher, Caden Pfeiffer. Left fielder, right fielder, Ethan Phillips. Pitcher and first baseman, Cole Wagner. Pitcher, first baseman, and shortstop, Chayton Krause. How about a big round of applause for these guys, please? If we're going to have to talk to a staffer, Jaden Headline. I forgot to mention his name. Jaden Headline as well. Mr. Speaker, I rise today to present an amazing group of young men, their coaches and family, to the members of the Hall of the House. Today we are honored by the presence of true champions, the Redland Little League team that represented a Mid-Atlantic region in the 2015 Little League World Series. I know that we all crowd around our TVs glued to ESPN where we saw this team dismantle opponents from around the country as record crowds flooded into Williamsport, hoping to catch a glimpse of history. This team overcame extremely stiff competition and seemingly insurmountable odds to become the United States champions, all the while motivated by, motivated by the mantra, why not us? Mr. Speaker, it is a tremendous honor and privilege today to present house citations to this incredible team. I have received many great words of encouragement and congratulations from the members on both sides of the aisle who along the way became huge Redland fans. I know pl the players, coaches, and families all deeply appreciated your support and I thank you. For two weeks in August, we huddled around our TVs and we became a state and a country united by a group of 12-year-old boys. They captured the imaginations of fans everywhere and the hearts of adolescent girls all across the free world. <laughs> they are the team of a generation. They are a team of destiny. And they very gallantly carried the banner of Lewis Berry in the state of Pennsylvania and the United States of America to a very high place, and did so with gracious and impeccable sportsmanship. On behalf of the members of the House of Representatives, thank you, Redland. Thank you for showing the nation and the world how we play baseball in Pennsylvania. We are indeed proud beyond words of all of you. And we all want to say thank you so very much for the memories. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Representative DeLosier, the floor is yours. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Not a lot more to add. The only thing that I wanted to add was simply the fact that in talking to a lot of these players' families, uh, a lot of effort goes in by the coaches, by the parents, um, by the siblings um, that are uh, up and back when the games are going on. These families put a lot of miles on their car and all for, obviously, for us to be very, very proud of, our, of the players. They work so hard, so much practice goes into this. You, you know, everybody that knows anybody that has a kid in sports knows how much it is truly a family affair. So thank you to the parents and the coaches for putting all those hours of effort into it. And boys, thank you for making us so proud because we truly made sure that everybody in the state of Pennsylvania and our nation knew exactly where Redland, Pennsylvania was. So congratulations.